Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rahafadash, of honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets, and no respect to the brothers, teachers, truth all over the globe. And this is, uh, you know, basically, a, you know, updating prophecy. And, you know, that uh, the scripture also said that the testimony of uh, Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. And you have to, uh, for those who are just waking up in the truth, you know, you have to understand that part of the scriptures and majority of the Bible is, you know, based on prophecy. You know, based on things that's going to happen in the prophets. You know, they prophesy things before it actually happened. And that's what prophet job to do, you know, is to teach, you know, and instruct the people, you know, especially our people, you know, you black, Latino, Native Americans. And you know, it's it's a uh, it's a prophet's duty to warn the people about what's going to happen before it actually happens, because the scripture also tells Ezekiel, you know, the Most High told Ezekiel, you know, to get them warned for me. It was talking about our people, you know, we warn our people about you know the destruction, you know, that's going to come upon these major kingdoms, especially here in Babylon the Great. But, you know, we all know that the Most High is going to come back and he's going to judge the whole world. You know, he's going to, especially here in Babylon the Great, you know, they're going to be judged and it's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. But we know that this, this is not what the lesson about. You know, I have an article here from uh, Yahoo News. It, you know, it reads, it, uh, reads that Rouhani said he, that he rejected the U.S. Uh, U.S. offer to lift sanctions made in message to Europeans. You know, also, I also like it, you know, just let you see the article that, you know, this is officially the article. You know, I'm sorry that, you know, I'm not, you know, tech savvy, you know, to do all the other stuff that knowing the brother do, but it is what it is. But, you know, the message is to uh, edify the sheep. Because the Most High said to uh, edify his sheep, if you love, he told Peter, if you love me, you'll feed my sheep. You know, if you love me, you'll feed my lambs. You know, basically, you know, feed him this wisdom, knowledge, and truth that you have about Shem Hal Shah. But in, anyway, you know, getting back on point with the lesson, you know, the title reads, Rahani said he rejected the U.S. offer to lift sanctions made in message to Europeans. You know, this is by Baba, uh, Baba, I ain't gonna try and pronounce the last name. Uh, is it read, <clears throat> the United States sent a message to European leaders that it was willing to lift all sanctions on uh, Iran, according to Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, Rouhani who, sa who said he had rejected Tower Washington while preemptive sanctions remain in, in place. And and it, and this uh, president, the Iranian president, know that, you know, the United States, you know, they, they always lie, you know, they full of lies. You know, they say one thing, you know, they turn around and do another. And, uh, and you know, that in the in the United States, uh, Babylon the Great is run by uh, Esau. And, and, and uh, uh, the, press, the Iranian president know that the, the United States is full of mess. You know, he don't he don't trust them as far as he can see them. He don't trust, you know, Donald Trump and he's you know, Donald Trump and all the Democratic presidents or Democrats and uh, you know, all the all the uh, Democrats and Republicans to like it, you know, what they said. Because he you know that, you know, they full of mess anyway and, and you know they out for one goal, you know, is to turn to steal all their resources. And he knows all this. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, he rejected the talks of Washington. And we all know that the uh, talks are not going to fall through anyway because the, the, because the scriptures say in Revelation chapter 17, verse 16 and 17, you know, these shall hate the whore and make her desolate and eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For the Most High put in his heart to fulfill his will and to agree and to give a power unto the beast until, you know, words he how shall be fulfilled. And we all know that all these nations are turning their back on Babylon the Great, which is a miracle because they see through the miracle policies and they see what they're trying to do. They're trying to go in their country, 
you know, they're trying to establish up these banks, you know, these these banks to, to uh, tax the people with high taxes. You know, they'll go in and use the United States, go in to bomb the place, you know, to the top of down governments, and then they set up a puppet leader who they want to set up. And then they'll go in and try to, you know, use a centralized bank. You know, the least will, you know, go in and put a bank there and tax the people with an insurmountable, insurmountable tax, you know, to keep the people in debt unto them. And we all know that's called usury. And that's what uh, United, they're what the government, they're what the uh, elites trying to do, especially here in Iran. And, you know, Iran not, don't want to have no parts of it. You know, they don't want a uh, central bank in their uh, government. And that's the reason why you see uh, United States and Iran going back and forth with these, uh, you know, these uh, wars, you know, these rumors of wars, you know, prophesied in Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. You know, say you share her wars and rumors of wars and be not troubled. But all these things should come to pass, but the end is not yet. You know, roughly paraphrasing. But uh, uh, this Iranian president know that Esau, you know, he's full of lies. And they're, and they're tired of the uh, so-called white man. They're tired of all their bullying. They're tired of all their policies. And they know that the so-called white man, the only way he can get in power is through rape, rob, and murder. So like it. And uh, he don't trust the word that he says, and the scripture also backs it up. In uh, Psalms chapter 58, verse 3, it reads, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go straight as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And that's what, they, that's what Esau does. He speaks lies. You know, you know, he, you know, he is that, uh, you know, the, the, the spirit of that serpent, which you can read in Genesis chapter 3. It, you know, you can start at the top. And we're talking about the serpent that's more subtitled in the beast of the field. And it, and it's talking about the spirit, you know. And that spirit resides, you know, was in Cain, and then the spirit resides in Esau in his race. You know, the general people, which is so called white race. You know, they the so called white man, you know, they love to lie. You know, they are very cunning with their lies, you know. And they and they're very crafty and sneaky in everything what they do. And the uh, Iranian president see that, you know, he said he rejected the talks, you know, um, what they had in place. You know, but continue on with the article, it said, uh, Rouhani, speaking on his return from the United Nations General Assembly in New York, said, said Germany, Britain, and France have insisted on joining me with U.S. officials. The German Chancellor the Prime Minister of Britain and the President of France were in New York and all insist that that this meeting take place and America said that it would lift the sanctions behind the court to official ref website. And and we all know that the United States, if you don't do if you the other country and you don't do what the United States said do, you know, they, they tend to pose sanctions upon you know, upon the world, you know, upon the other nations. But everybody know that that the uh, United States is the real terrorist, man. You know, they go in, they bomb countries, they bomb people. You know, they kill, you know, you know people that night in the war, they end up losing their life. But we all know that's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim and But But we know that he's hard known to go in and to bomb countries. Look what they did to Iraq. And, and that way, in, in a rough, rough around 2003, you know, if I'm not mistaken, they went in and captured Saddam Hussein in that place. And I went over there before, over there in Iraq, and that place is still, you know, I went in Fallujah, Iraq, and that place still is war-torn, war war -torn, you know, after all those years. They never recovered from that because it was not never about, you know, war on terrorism. It was about, you know, it was about getting their, getting their oil, getting their resources. You know, that's what this whole thing was about. And in the United States, you know, they know to put sanctions upon a country. They put sanctions on North Korea. And, you know, now they put, you know, they put sanctions on Iran because uh, Esau wants to go in. He wants to steal your resources. He wants to go in. He wants to go in with this talk about, you know, he's coming in in peace. But the scriptures say, yeah, you, you, yeah, you may talk to peace, but war in his, in his heart, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Because everybody know that Esau loves war, and, and his blessing is the sword. As you read in Genesis chapter twenty-seven, verse forty, it 
talks about Esau blessing being a sword. You know, you read in Revelation chapter 6, verse 4, four it says well, they came out another uh, horse that was red, you know, and power, you know, and, and he was, power was given to him. He had a great sword in his hand that he should take peace on the earth and that should kill one another. And that was given to him a great sword. And, and what's that peace? What's that sword? That sword is the modern day guns, this modern day technology. You know, if you don't comply with what he said, you know, he can use the technology to go in and do what he want to do. Because Job 9 24 said the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. The most high has given uh, Esau even their power. And also you can read Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It said, Woe unto the habitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Because he knows he had for a short time. And Esau, even though he only has a short time before your house shall return. And, you know, he, he, he wants to control the whole world. He wants to control all the resources. Because another scripture said, we not leave, uh, leave any uh, any grapes, any gleaming grapes. And we know the answer is no, because these elites are very greedy. You know, even though they have, they have uh, they hoard pretty much 99% of the world's wealth, you know, but that's not enough for them. They want to, they, they not only they want to hoard all the wealth, they want to, uh, they want to control, you know, all the people as well. They want to control their mind. They want to make them, you know, basically uh, slaves. You know, slaves unto them. You know, they want to uh, do all the accomplish all the things that they want to accomplish. And you see, uh, and then they already had that plan. They want to, you know, they want to depopulate the world. But you probably say, what well, all this have to do with the article? You know, it shows how much. Uh, uh, hypocrite that Esau Edom is, you know, it shows how much uh, hypocrite that the United States is because the United States can go and do all all these crimes against humanity, and 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 they and they use try to use justifiable reasons to do so, and be, but then when uh, uh, the other countries, you know, they they fight back and they saying that no, we, we don't want to have no talk with you, we're not going to give our resources. The United States get mad and they want to propose sanctions upon these other nations. But America's the biggest hypocrite on the planet. You know, it, it's the biggest hypocrite. And you have to understand that, you know, that that Esau had got all his stuff from Ray Rob and Myrtle. You know, that's 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 how he got power, that's how he became in power, you know, cuss of the sword. You know, getting back on point. It says that uh it said that it was up for debate when sanction would be lifted, and and they talking about the United States has said clear that we will lift sanctions. He his website quoted him as saying, "U.S. President Donald Trump tweet on Friday that he that he had rejected Iran's request to lift sanctions, and 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 it, and he double they 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 got a double four tongue, you know as we call it because in their mind." You know, they said one thing, then they'll do something else. You know, basically they, they being a hypocrite, and and we know that that the uh, um, that the uh, Iranian president very much know what he's talking about. I'm not saying they we I, we care about him. Get what he's gonna be judged just like just like everybody else. But getting back on point is that you know he he knows not to trust the United States. He knows that you know those in power. You know they hypocrites. You know, they have a double four ton. They said one thing, they'll do something else. And <clears throat> getting back on point with the <clears throat> with the article. Um, you okay. It says uh, Iran wanted me to leave, uh to lift the sanctions opposed upon them upon them in order to meet. And I said, well, of course, no, he wrote. So they showed that, you know, he, he basically told the Iran president he's not gonna lift the sanctions. He's not gonna. He's not gonna do that. And why he's not gonna do that? Because the United States is still trying to use their bullying tactics. You know, they think that bullying tactics is gonna work with Iran and, and with you know China, or North Korea, or all these other nations that oppose them. But you know, the United States is not. They know that it's not working against these other nations. And the United States, you know, he's all Edom. He's getting desperate now because he see that he's losing his power. He losing his influence, you know. He losing, you know, his democracy over the world. You know, all these things that that they once had rule over, and 
and the power that they had, you know, over the world, they see now it's dwindling. They see that these other nations ain't scared of them because the scripture said, you know, let the weak say I'm strong, you know, because all these nations got, you know, majority of nations got nuclear technology. You know, they, they, they're not scared of the United States. You know, that's the reason why they can bark, you know, they can talk back to the United States the way that they do because they, they are not scared of them. You know, they they don't care about Donald Trump not opposing the sanctions. Guess what? They they got uh Russia that's gonna have their back. They got China gonna have their back. They got North Korea gonna have their back. They they ain't worried about the United States. They know that the United States is going down, man. They they know that. They don't really care. You know, they don't they don't really care because they know that the United States ain't got the power like they used to have. That reason why they they uh tell the United States and you can read that in Isaiah chapter four uh chapter fourteen. Where it goes into talk about the elites, man. Talking about say now, nah, now nah, how do I become the weakest weak? You know, that they were saying now nah, they 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 turn Esau here now. Now you coming just like us now. Now now you at the bottom when when Israel uh you know rise up the power through uh through the Yahweh and saw Yahweh Shah you know King David and uh, you know through King David you know uh, and uh. The apostles in the hundred forty four thousand man, they they gonna they gonna be telling they telling Esau like look y'all y'all weak as us man, y'all just like us y'all y'all ain't got no power, you know and that's why these other niggas they not worried about you know United States ain't ain't lifting the sanctions because they got they can go to you know Iran can go to Russia they can go to China you know they know China gonna have their back and 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 Most High is putting all this into play. He's setting all this up because he knows that these other nations are going to turn on the United States. And the all of them, when they're going to get their opportunity, and the most high put the spirit upon them, they're going to shoot all their missiles right over here. Yeah, the United States is going to get some of their missiles off. But guess what? majority of the missiles are going to hit the United States. And in the course of the scriptures, in the book of Revelation, it's going to be 200 million missiles. But the but scripture said 200,000 times 1,000 which is equal to 200 million missiles that's going to come over here and destroy this place. But again, again back on point, uh, according to uh, Rouhani, France and Britain pressed him to meet Trump with French President Emmanuel uh, Macron warning him that it will be a lost opportunity if he did not. Brit British Prime Minister Boris Johnson suggests the Iranian leaders should take the plunge. Iranian has ruled out bilateral talks with the United States unless it re returns to the 2015 Iran, Iran nuclear deal abandoned by Trump last year and he raised the equivalent economic sanction that he has since opposed on the Islamic Republic. And, you know, there's no surprise with that because, uh, the, you know, he's all even known to uh, back out of deals and known to break his uh, uh, promises. You know that's not that's not that's no surprise that because they did that, you know, to the uh tri to the Gadites that you know, mainly own this land, you know, the Native American that own this land, the, the Native American you know made peace treaty with, you know Esau Edom, so called white man, and and get what Esau Edom, you know, broke out all those, those peace treaties and went in and slaughtered over hundred million Native Americans and took this land, you know, it's no it's no surprise there that you know. Uh, that the uh, uh, United States, you know, that the, you know, you know that Esau Edom uh, back out the Iranian deal, you know, there's no surprise though. Why? Because uh, because uh, Iran is not doing what they want to do because they want to go in and take their oil, take their resources, and Iran is not allowing them, allowing them to do so. So that's the reason why, one of, that's the reason why they that the United States is backing out of the uh, other Iranian ordeal because they can't do what they want to do like they did to the other nations. So they thinking, you know, just, you know, breaking all the peace tree. They basically showing their true colors. It said Iran was ready for negotiation, but not in the atmosphere of sanctions and pressure. Rouhani said Rouhani did not meet Trump in New York and European. And Gulf officials been watched in to keep tight the vice on Iran's economy. And like I said before, you know, it's all about, uh, you know, it's all about them, that old, all about them sanctions. And 
Rouhani did not meet uh, the president because he know that he's not going to get anywhere with him. You know, he know he's not going to get anywhere with the United States because the United States won't basically say, okay, you know, you got to surrender, you know, you know, straight up her moves, you know, you know, all the, you know, uh, the uh, oil and stuff over there, you know, and uh, Iran basically going to tell them, no, they're not going to do that because they already know what the United States is all about. They already know what the, what the United States government is all about. They want to set up a central bank in Iran, you know, to take their resources and to try to tax the people. But uh, the Iranian official pretty much tell them, no, that you're not going to do that. That's the reason why, uh, it, it, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of cost for them to go to the United States and try to negotiate a deal because, guess what? The Esau is not going to play fair. He's not going to play uh, by the rules. He's going to basically say, this is what it is. If you don't like it, then guess what? We, 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 we're not going to talk to you. You know, it's, it's out of my way of the highway pretty much. But getting back on point with the article, you know, the last part of it, it reads, the United States and Iran are at odds over a host of issues, including the United States withdrawal from the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, U.S. accusations denied by Tehran that Iran, that Iran attacked two Saudi oil facilities on September 14th and Iran's detention of U.S. citizens on what the United States regards it as a spurious, as spurious grounds and basically, it's basically saying that, you know, our, uh, that the United States is making up a lot of uh, propaganda through the media about, you know, that Iran went over and tapped the, uh, you know, tapped the two uh, uh, oil facilities over Saudi Arabia. You know, that, you know, that was, that was on the news then that Iran did it. The Iranian president came out and said, he, you know, saying they didn't do that, you know. And, 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 and it's no surprise that the United States probably, you know, did that, you know, Esau did that behind the scenes, and they used that to blame Iran as a pretense to try to go and make war with their country. But the United States is stuck between a, ro a rock and a hard place. You know, they know if they go to war, trying to go to war with Iran, they, they, they know that China's going to get involved in it, they know Russia's going to get involved in it, and they know North Korea's going to get involved in it, and all the other allied nations going to get involved in their war. Because the scripture also said that the least of the flock should draw them out because all this is, is about Israel anyway. You know, the faith Jews, because they want to to uh, take, you know, get their get their resources over there as well. You know, they they want to get those resources. And, and, and Israel been enemies with Iran. And, and they're going to use the United States to, they're going to try to use, they, Israel is going to draw the United States over there to try to fight Iran. And, and, and and that's going to end up being disastrous for the United States because uh, all these all the nations already turned their back on on the United States. You know they already turned their back on them. And when what's going to be left with it, uh, <clears throat> what's going to be left, it's going to be uh, World War Three. You know we already know all the other prophecies are going to have to take place before that happens. But get what I'm going to go ahead and get get the scripture. You know. I read this scripture before, it's, it's good to bring it out now. It is Joel chapter 3, you know, starting at the, um, go ahead and start at the top. It reads, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people, for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered the nation that part of my land. And and uh the point was in verse two. He said, you know, you're gonna guide all the nation out to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And he's gonna plead with them there for his people. And in the valley of Jehoshaphat is over there in the Middle East, I believe uh, it's, it's in a region where Syria is at, but you brothers could correct me if I'm wrong about that. You know, it's basically the war's gonna be in the Middle East. And all the nations gonna be drawn into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, and <clears throat> and they're gonna be drawn into this war, and and mo and it's doing uh Yahweh by Shimei Hashai. He's gonna bring all the other nations, you know, all the nations down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat, and he's gonna judge them. Where the word the word plead is mean, he's gonna judge them, 
and I gonna judge them. You gonna have all these nations to to turn and fight on fight against themselves, and it's gonna it it start off right now. It started off with trade wars, and you see a lot of trade wars. You even see that uh, I just read. You even see that negotiation with, with the uh, United States and Iran is is falling through the cracks. Why? Because it's spirit of how about Shimi how Shai do not want them to come together, do not want them to come to an agreement. Because it's the ways of uh, it's the spirit of how about Shimi how Shai. And also we know that uh um that uh the United States, you know, they love to make unrighteous decrees. You know, you can read that I believe it's it, you know it's in Ecclesiastes in Apocalypse ten A said Said because of unrighteous dealings, you know, the kingdom is going to be transferred from one people to another. And Esau Edom known to make unrighteous uh, dealings or unrighteous decrees. You know, they, they made laws that are unfair, that, that get them an advantage and get the other person a disadvantage. Look, look at how the, the laws here in the United States are governed. You know, they're, they're governed to, uh, um, you know, to keep. You know, you black Latino Native Americans at the bottom, you know, and keep the you know the other nation as well as Esau Edom at the top, and you know basically Esau Edom used on rise of creek to keep himself at the top and keep you know you black Latino Native Americans at the bottom. So for the you know the Iranian president, you know that was, you know that was a lost call for you to try to uh, try to negotiate with the you know with Esau Edom. You're not gonna get anywhere. You know, if it's not the way that they want to, they, they ain't gonna negotiate with you, because you know all all of them is about greed. They're about power. You know, they're about you know keeping keeping the wealth for themselves. They're about trying to control the people, they, and they pushing to get this new world order. You know, they want to get this new world order established. They, you know, what I'm saying they they pushing this RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, they they uh, they're pushing all these things here on the earth. Why is that? Because they want power, they want control, and they want prestige. You know, they want to uh, control all the other nations. They want to control everybody here on Earth. The reason why they they gonna make this uh, this uh, RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, they gonna make it mandatory. They gonna start making it mandatory eventually. And if you go against the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, you know they if you know they they're going to kill you. You know, they're going to, uh, you know, you're going to be an outcast society because scripture said in Revelation chapter 13, uh, you know, basically roughly around 16, 17, you know, if you don't take the mark of the beast, you know, you're not going to be able to buy a sale. And the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, you know, and, and all, you know, all these trade wars and all this stuff is going to, and then, then the fall of the economic, uh, the dollar economic, economic system is going to cause the, uh, it's going to cause society to go into an economic crash, and it's going to cause, you know, it's going to cause the people, it's going to try to force the people to take the, uh, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, and all these things going to come to play, but you probably ask what all this has to do, uh, what all this has to do with these talks with Iran. But you got to look at it in a in in, in a spiritual eyesight, you know. You have about you know, how to give how to give that wisdom, not your understanding, to let you see how things are playing out. Because you got uh, Iran, you got Iran, you know, they they're against what the United States is doing, and the United States know that Iran doesn't. It's not listening, man. They, they know that Iran is gonna do what Iran want to do. But, but spirit and power you have by Shimi Al Shah is not allowing these these two countries to work out anything because he, because spirit you have by Shimi Al Shah he, he gonna use the anger and all that anger and the hatred that all the other nation got against the U.S. and they're gonna shoot their missiles over here and destroy this place and you know Al Shah is gonna return you know he's gonna put all the nation on his feet you know where well, he's all eating we're gonna take them out of power. And you have to understand that all these things are part of prophecy. You have to understand that prophecy is fulfilling itself right before our very eyes. And that's the reason why we tell our people that you need to repent and come back to the law of statute commands to Yahweh Shimi Shah. 
That's the reason why we tell our people to, uh, uh, you know, to come out of the, uh, the way of the Babylon the Great, as, a, as you can read that in Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. You know, it makes it very clear to come out of Babylon the Great, because Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. You can read that in Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1 through 2, which say, you know, come sit in the dust, O daughter version of Babylon, which you're talking about, America, Babylon the Great. It's going to be, it's going to be reduced to dust and ashes. And on the, on the things that's going to inhabit this land, America, Babylon the Great, is going to be dead for creatures after it's been destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. And, and, but, you know, that, that's uh, it for a lesson, you know, I just want to give you an edify lesson, you know, about uh, the Iranian and the nuclear, uh, Iranian and United States, you know, you know, United States talks, and they know that it didn't fall through, that, you know, that's part of prophecy, that uh, all the other nations are going to turn on the United States. You know, and they want to, uh, they're going to destroy this place. They're going to destroy this kingdom of Esau, Edom, you know. You know, through your house, you of course. Your house, you going to, ultimately, he's going to be the one that brings them down. But we see that, that these talks are not going through. But I pray that this lesson will edify. I want to say, call the Hoya, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rahakadash, double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets, and no respect to the brothers, teachers, truth, thought over the globe. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yeah, I will. Shalom.